Hey, welcome back to Tribe Talk. Today we're going to be talking about your tribe, the audience that is specific for your business. How do you find that? And Molly's here with us today. She's one of our growth specialists. She's going to tell you a little bit about a test that she's been running in one of her accounts and really how to finally pick a winner for which audience works best. Because, you know, it, there's so many things to look at. How do you know when the test is complete? So that's a question we get a lot, and so we figured we'd answer that. So Molly, can you tell us a little bit about the test that you've been running? Hi, Catherine. So the experiment that I ran, the result is kind of a bit of an obvious one, but I think it still served a really important point. Um, I had a client who is in kind of like the baby and mom brand uh, vertical. And so I was going after like the more obvious interests for building out audiences, which would be like, you know, Johnson and Johnson, Graco, maybe Dove, things like that. And it hit me one day that maybe I should try to experiment with an audience that has the same type of interest, um, you know, the same vertical, but a bit more expensive. So anything like Snoo or Bugaboo, Aiden and Anais, Up a Baby, those types of things. And what I found is, surprise, surprise, people who have an interest in these more expensive brands um, not only were interested in my products that I was advertising for, but they were so interested that they were spending more and purchasing more than any of my other audiences. So that was kind of like the end result. Wow, thanks for sharing that, Molly. And how did you know when the test was complete? Like, how did you know when there was one audience that was working better or this specific thing was working better um, just in general for any test you're running? So I think the most important thing when you're running any test is you need to have a baseline metric that you care the most about. So if it's return on ad spend or if it's just purchase volume, um, if it's the actual you know purchase value, things like that, um, that really needs to kind of be your true north when it comes to assessing the experiments that you're running. Um, so for me specifically, it really is a combination between purchases and ROAS. Um, so I can kind of pick out an audience winner if there's been some time and there's been some money spent and we're either seeing results or we're not. And so for me, results in this case looked like more purchases and a higher purchase ROAS. And basically that's how you can determine if an audience is a winner or like a loser. Well, we hope that was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and like and subscribe this channel. If you have already subscribed, maybe you have a question, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to answer those for you. Hope you have a great rest of your day.